The conditional formatting feature is used to color items like emails, appointments, and meetings that meet criteria set by you. Why would you want to color items? To make it stand out and grab your attention. So for example, if I want to be able to color messages that have the word haunted in it, any time that Carrie sends me an email message that says haunted, I want it to pop out because I want to go right into it immediately. I mean, maybe you get hundreds of thousands of email messages. You want something that pops out, right? To do that, then either come up here and click on the View tab and go to the current view, click on View Settings, or the shortcut is just to right-click on one of these bars here and go down to View Settings. And there it is, Conditional Formatting. Click on it, and let's click Add. And then down below, it's checked Untitled. Let's give it a name that's not called Untitled, but Haunted. And then, of course, we have to set up the condition for it. So click on it, search for the words Haunted either in the subject or in the subject and the message body. Of course, you've got more options. You can say it's got to be from Carrie. Click on the from and find her, double click, add her down below, click OK. I'm not too concerned about that. Anybody who sends me something that says haunted, I'm right on it. And then you've got more choices, maybe items that are check it, unread or read. And then advanced, click on the field. If you'd like to include people that have been carbon copied, like if somebody's been carbon copied like Mr. Humphreys, you can see down below CC contains, and you type in his email address, and then you click add, then it has to meet those conditions with Mr. Humphreys and the carbon copy and also the word haunted. Because if Mr. Humphreys is in on it, then I want to make sure I'm definitely there because he's the ghost expert. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and remove him from it and just keep it simple like the word haunted. Click OK. And before I click OK again, right now this is what's being applied to it as far as the font type. Let's change that. Click on font. And let's do show card gothic. Well, that sounds kind of spooky. And the size we can make it bigger. And make it bold, oblique. Let's change the color. Make it red. Ooh, that's poppy. You can do a strike through or underline. In any case, I digress. Let's just do OK. And there it is, click OK, click OK, and whoa, there it is, Haunted Investigation. That got my attention. You can also do this in other folders like the Calendar, select Calendar, and then come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Current View, click View Settings. It also has conditional formatting, click on that, but it's a little bit limited because you can only choose color. You can't choose the font type. In any case, let's go ahead and click Add so I can show you. And let's say anything that has investigation in it, let's set the color for that appointment, something that pops out like yellow. But I gotta set the condition up. Click condition that has investigation in the subject field only or in the subject and notes field. If it was organized by somebody else, anybody who organizes an investigation, like when I click on it, I can say if it's organized by Carrie, Double click and click OK or just type in her email address. And it has the investigation in the subject field only, then hey, I want it to stand out. But let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Delete it. More choices. Items that are unread or read or additional ones for the advanced. You can choose a field. And we'll go down to all mail fields. If it's a carbon copy, you can select that. And you can see CC contains type in their email address then click Add, so it has to meet that criteria as well, but I'm not going to do that. Let's just keep it simple and do Investigation, click OK, click OK, click OK, and let's scroll down to find if any of the appointments or meetings are in yellow. Hey, does that have Investigation in it? I do thinketh, and you can see in the pop-up Investigation, Investigation, oh, that's nice, that really pops. And then to remove it, if you don't want to use it, of course, View Settings again, Conditional Formatting, you can uncheck it and click OK, so that way it's always there. If you want to use it later on, click OK, click OK, and then we're back to where we started. It doesn't have it highlighted in yellow, but then I do want to get rid of it. Conditional formatting. With it selected, go ahead and delete it. Click OK, click OK. Back to the email messages. Let's right-click on the subject to bring up view settings. Conditional formatting. Again uncheck it to not use it at this time or just delete it all together and click OK, click OK. We're back to where we started.